Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll be going to explain you small signal model of MOSFET. This topic is very essential for university examination as well as for competitive examination. Definitely in competitive examination, at least one question will be there based on this topic. In this video, I'll be deriving very essential equations of MOSFET like what is transconductance and what is drain resistance. So you just see this video till last. Here I'll explain you how to have small signal model of MOSFET as well as how to derive essential equations based on MOSFET. So to have small signal model of MOSFET, here I'll be going to consider MOSFET over here in which here we have drain terminal, here we have gate terminal, here we have source terminal. In between gate and source, we are applying VGS voltage. In between drain and source, we are applying VDS voltage. And because of VGS and VDS, drain current ID that is flowing. In characteristics also, I have explained based on VGS and VDS only drain current flows. So drain current that is a function of VGS and VDS. Now here for small signal model, what I'll do is I'll be changing VGS and VDS and based on change I'll be observing change in drain current. So here I'll be going to apply change in VGS as per VGS plus delta VGS and I'll be applying change in VDS as per VDS plus delta VDS and based on these changes I'll be observing change in ID current. So here resultant ID current will be ID plus delta ID. So our need is to identify what is this change in delta ID but for that you need to understand few derivation. So here now this drain current equation that will get modified by ID plus delta ID as per this function. ID will be ID plus delta ID that is a function of this VGS will be VGS plus delta VGS and this VDS will be VDS plus delta VDS. Now we need to understand this equation carefully. See with this equation here this ID that belongs to DC component over here. So here this ID that belongs to DC component where we don't apply any changes right and here change in ID that belongs to small signal component where this change is happening because of delta VGS and delta VDS. So here I'll be simplifying this function further. So what I'll do is I'll be considering DC component as per this function. So I'll be writing F of VGS and VDS right now see this is there regarding DC component of ID but because of small signal change over here how much change that we need to give it to VGS and VDS so for that you need to understand this see here change in ID is happening because of change in VGS right where we apply delta VGS over here for this change and here change in ID that is happening because of change in VDS where we apply change as per delta VDS right. So we need to understand these two components over here. See in characteristics also I have explained here when you have change in ID because of change in VGS at that time we keep VDS constant right and when you have change in ID because of change in VDS at that time we keep VGS constant right. So what is this if you observe carefully see this is change in output current with respect to change in VGS voltage. So here VGS is input voltage and ID is output current. So output current divided by input voltage that is transconductance right. So this term that is 
ट्रांसकंडक्टेंस जी एम एंड एज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट जी एम देन दैट इज डेल आई डी बाई डेल वी जी एस वेर वी किप वी डी एस कॉन्स्टेंट एंड इफ यू केयरफुल यू ऑब्जर्व दिस टर्म सो दैट इज चेंज इन आउटपुट करंट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू चेंज इन वी डी एस वोल्टेज इफ यू ऑब्जर्व आई डी करंट दैट इज आउटपुट करंट एंड वी डी एस वोल्टेज दैट इज आउटपुट वोल्टेज सो आउटपुट करंट बाई आउटपुट वोल्टेज दैट इज आउटपुट कंडक्टन्स और यू कैन से दिस इज ड्रेन कंडक्टन्स राइट सो ड्रेन कंडक्टन्स इज जी डी एंड सी दिस ड्रेन कंडक्टन्स दैट वन कैन कैलकुलेट एज पर डेल आई डी बाई डेल वी डी एस वेर वी कीप वी जी एस कॉन्स्टेंट एंड वन मोर थिंग दैट यू नीड टू नोट डाउन सी दिस ड्रेन कंडक्टन्स दैट इज वन बाई आर डी वेर आर डी इज ड्रेन रेजिस्टेंस सो दिस इज ऑल्सो इक्वल्स टू वन डिवाइड बाई आर डी राइट नाउ वॉट आई वॉन्ट इज आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू हैव स्मॉल सिग्नल चेंज राइट सो वॉट आई बी डूइंग इज आई बी कंसिडरिंग दिस चेंज पार्ट राइट एंड आई बी रिमूविंग दिस डी सी कंपोनेंट द रीजन इज आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू सी आई डी बिकॉज ऑफ डी सी कंपोनेंट दैट इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ वी जी एस एंड वी डी एस सो यू कैन एलिमिनेट दिस कंपोनेंट्स एंड यू विल बी हैविंग ड्रेन करंट एज पर स्मॉल सिग्नल चेंज delta id that is equals to c this term that is gm so i'm writing gm into delta vgs plus this term is gd and that is equals to 1 by rd so here i'm writing 1 by rd into delta vds now see for simplicity let us redefine the notations so instead of delta here i'll be redefining notations so here i'm saying that this delta id that is equals to small id where small id is change in drain current and here i'm saying delta vgs that is equals to small vgs where this small vgs is change in vgs and instead of this delta vds i'm saying that is small vds that is change in drain to source voltage so let us rewrite this equation so now we will be having drain current id that is equals to gm vgs plus 1 by rd into vds so this is a drain current for small signal analysis now based on this drain current equation i'll be making small signal model of mosfet let me explain you how to make it so for that i'll be again taking this mosfet right and i'll be making equivalent circuit of this so to make equivalent circuit of this here at input side we have gate you can observe and source is common in between input and output so here we have source that is common in between input and output so let me extend the line of source over here right and at output side here we have drain terminal right now first of all you need to understand how many biasing that we have given over here so here we have given small signal change in between gate and source that is as per vgs so here we have given small signal change that is vgs over here and in between drain and source we have given small signal change as per vds so here we have plus minus vds right and change in drain current that is happening at drain terminal over here that is id now let us make this equation so here with this mosfet see in between gain and source here we have dielectric material that is insulating material so in between gate and source one can say we have open circuit in between this open circuit we are applying vgs potential and in between drain and source we are applying vds voltage that is shown over here and because of which drain current id is flowing over here 
that I have mentioned over here. That ID is GM VGS plus 1 by RD into VDS. So this GM VGS that is current source. So to have current source, let me show it to you in circuit. So this current source that will be happening in this direction and its value will be GM VGS, right? And here we have drain resistance in between drain and source. So here we have drain resistance in between drain and source that is RD. So if you apply KCL at this node, then ID is equals to current in this branch plus current in this branch. Current in this branch that is VDS divided by RD and current in this branch because of this current source that is GM VGS. So you can say ID is equals to GM VGS plus VDS divided by RD. So this is small signal model of MOSFET. Now with this small signal model of MOSFET, what I'll do is I'll be going to explain you calculation of GM and RD, right? So first of all, what I'll do is I'll be going to consider MOSFET in saturation region. To keep MOSFET in saturation region, VDS voltage that has to be greater than VGS minus VTH. That is what I have already explained in my earlier videos, right? Now, here to have derivation of GM and RD in saturation region, what I'll be going to do is, I'll be going to consider drain current equation in saturation region. So drain current in saturation region is mu n into C O X dash into W by L into V G S minus V T H whole square divided by 2 into 1 plus lambda V D S. See this portion that is there because of channel length modulation and this drain current equation that I have already explained in my earlier videos. Here I am directly taking it. The reason is we wanted to derive GM and RD in saturation region, right? I have already told you what is GM, you see. GM that is transconductance, that is del ID by del VGS where we keep VDS constant. And I have explained you what is RD, RD that is 1 by GD, right? And what is GD? GD is del ID by del VDS where we keep VGS constant. So to have calculation of GM, we need to differentiate this ID with respect to VGS. So let us differentiate this with respect to VGS where we keep VDS constant, right? So this is constant that will be as it is mu n COX dash into W by L that is constant and differentiation of this term you see that is twice times of VGS minus VTH so 2 2 will get cancelled so here we will be having VGS minus VTH as we are differentiating this term with respect to VGS and this is constant that is 1 plus lambda VDS right so GM that one can calculate as per this equation in saturation mode of MOSFET. Now to have RD first we need to find GD. So GD is differentiation of ID with respect to VDS where we give VGS constant. So this much portion of term that is constant so you can say mu n COX dash W by L into VGS minus VTH whole square divided by 2 this much term is constant as VGS is constant and we need to differentiate this with respect to VDS. So if you differentiate this with respect to VDS, this much term, then differentiation of this, that is lambda only, right? Now, if you observe this much term, if you observe this much term, then this is what drain current without channel length modulation. In my last video, I have explained drain current without channel length modulation, right? So you see this drain current without channel length modulation that was this only, right? With channel length modulation, drain current equation that is this. 
that we have seen it in my last video. So here sometimes in books you will be observing they will be writing this GD as per ID into lambda where this is drain current without channel length modulation. Right. So one can say this is is equals to ID into lambda and based on this one can have RD that is 1 by GD. So you can say this is 1 divided by ID into lambda. Right. So that is how one can easily calculate values of GM and RD by differentiating drain current. Right. So these are the basics that one need to understand over here. Now here I have told you we can use this small signal model in circuits as well. So there are a few basic rules that you need to note down to use this model in circuit. Let me note down those rules. See whenever you use small signal model of MOSFET in circuit at that time you will have to see DC sources. In that if you have DC voltage source then you will have to keep DC voltage source as a short circuit and you will have to see DC current source and you will have to keep DC current source as open circuit. Right. So whenever you use this model of MOSFET, this model of MOSFET in circuit, so that is small signal model where we are deal with to obtain change. So as and when you are talking about change at that time you can use this model but inside circuit whatever DC sources are there those DC sources will be as per DC voltage sources will be short circuited and DC current sources will be open circuited. So that is what the case which you will have to keep in your mind and then you can use this model. So in future coming videos I will be going to solve so many problems based on MOSFET where I'll be using this fundamentals of drain current, GM and RD. In next video, I'll explain you calculation of GM and RD for linear region of MOSFET. Right. I hope you have understood this video. Still, if anything that you would like to share, please note it down in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.